Hey, yo, Epps, let these motherfuckers know. This is the opening credits, the way I start my shit off. We been getting money while these niggas been asleep, dog. I'm so old school and I'm still playing leapfrog. Crawl before you walk, that's really what I'm trying to teach y'all. Y'all niggas and bitches will never learn. If you never have discipline, nigga, you never have. Stay the fuck away from people who look for the blood to burn. And know that family and friends always gon' fake like they concerned. And y'all don't know what I've been through. Y'all can't tell me what I can and can't do. I walk through the fire with them Jordan 4. Still in the game and they still rooting for the boy. Grown man boss, real nigga shit. Whoa. These niggas fake, man. Ain't know I'm really rich. Money, no money. And we don't know y'all. We've been really in the trenches. We got niggas on the yard. 23 and 1 and never see the sun. They been in so long, they never seen they sons. And it's the type of shit that we go through. Living on faith, man, and trying to be hopeful. A lot of dreams buried in the cemetery. The game they playing out here, y'all know it's very scary. I keep my heart cold like October to February. I'm trying to hit on every number like I'm Jerry. Go large or go home. I'm in the zone like I'm 2 3. And I'm playing with an attitude. Timberwolves, KG. I talk slick, nigga, know that I'm nasty. And when it's war time, know that we ain't trying to be classy. Right now, the DJ Epps and Friends Show. Weeknights at 10 p.m. with live turntable mixes and interviews. It's time to turn up your smart device and crank it loud. Hey, yo, check this out. This is your boy, Diddy. As we proceed to give you what you need, we are the world famous, the supreme, grand imperial. Hey, yo, Epps, let these motherfuckers know. Father God, we first want to take this time to say thank you. Thank you for life. Thank you for love. Thank you for those who are tuned in to this live at this moment. We pray, Lord, that whoever is tuned in right now, that you bless them. Allow them to have an enjoyable time. Allow them to be able to come on here and not worry about problems and not worry about what is going on. But we know that you are taking care of it at this moment, at this time. Allow people to feel loved, to feel peace and to smile and enjoy. For you said, do not be weary of doing good. So I pray that everybody sows good and reaps good, encouraging one another and looking out for one another. In your holy name we pray, amen. This is DJ Epps and Friends. Let's go. Yeah, what it do? What up, everybody? Happy Tuesday. You know what it is. DJ Epps and Friends live and direct for you and yours, the number one DJ show on social media, especially on Instagram. So a shout to everybody on my Facebook Live, YouTube Live, my Twitch. You know what it is. I appreciate the love. Now, understand that, um, you know, we do this Celebrity Tuesdays where we bring in my friends and, 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 and celebrities um, from all around the world and different, um, you know, business genres, uh, athletes, actors, um, artists. They in the building with us, man. Celebrity Tuesdays. Um, it's also brought to you by Positivity Water. Shout out to my family the, over there at the good um, uh, 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 family over there at, at Positivity Alkaline Water. Excuse me. So, yeah, man. Shout out to my man David Walker. Shout out to the Breakfast Club. Shout out to my man uh, 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 DJ Chaotic. Shout out to the whole family at Positivity Water, Alkaline Water. Now, if you need to, you know, get yourself some alkaline water, man, pull it up. Go get it, all right? You need that in your life. All right, today we have my man Pastor Troy passing through in a little bit, man. We're going to get him in the building. Shout out my man Pastor Troy. Shout out to everybody in Atlanta, Georgia, the GA area. What's popping? Shout out to everybody in the building as well. Lex, what's popping? My Zoe in the building. Nula. All right, Jazzy Libra in the building. Jekyll, what's popping? Yeah, Jekyll, hi to you. Yeah, Byron, what's good? Soli Johanna in the building. Yeah, DJ tore it up. I see you, homie. Act Forte 7 was popping. Patricia Lewis in the building. Yeah, DJ Trues ATL in the building was good. Was good. She was good. Was good. Was good. All right, man. Um, we're waiting for my man, Pastor Troy, to come in the building. Now, next Tuesday, I'm not going to be in the building um, because Valentine's happened to land on a Tuesday. So you know what that means? I can't be with you guys, man. I got to go, you know, massage the feet, 
I got to go take care of wifey, take her out to dinner, you know, do what real men do. You know what I mean? So uh, next Tuesday, I won't be in the building. Um, you know, I, I'm going to be with wifey holding it down. But the Tuesday after that, we're going to bring my man Ron Browse in the building, live and direct. Um, anybody that's a producer or an artist that knows Ron Browse, come get some gems. My man's going to be in the building. He's going to talk to us about the new stuff that's happening, um, the new artists that he's pushing, all that good stuff. All right, man? So shout out to my man Ron Browse coming in two weeks to the DJ Epson Friends show. All right? You already know. You already know. You already know. You already know. All right? Um, let me see if, if, if Pastor Troy, if my man Troy, is anywhere around. Troy, if you're around, man, go ahead and send me a... a, 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 a I just sent you an invite. Sirius XM, Rock the Bells, DJ Epps. I'm in the building. Don't forget to catch me every Saturday on Sirius XM. Channel 43, Rock the Bells, holding it down with the Saturday Night Ride at 9 p.m. Now, understand, that is the number one weekend show. So, you know, you, you know, you know, your boy has to put it down. <laughs> yeah, <right? laughs> Definitely, man. Uh, shout to uh, my man, LL. Did a great job at the Grammys. Matter of fact, I may want to talk to everybody and get their opinions on the Grammy uh, this past weekend because it was a beautiful situation from um, the celebration to 50th anniversary of hip hop um, to 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 you know you know Lizzo getting her award. You know what I mean? Um, you know, uh, Khaled, Jay Z, everybody that did their thing over there. You know what I mean? That was crazy. I, I thought Bad Bunny did a great job opening up the Grammys. It was a great situation, man. So, yeah, we're going we gonna, we gonna to figure that part out in a little bit. All right, man. Uh, y'all y'all going to excuse me, man, because I already know Troy is on some Georgia stuff. So, he's supposed to be in the building already. But let me go ahead and just keep you entertained and let you know what's popping um, in the meantime. Now, you know I do my Indie Thursdays. Indie Thursdays is, is 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 what's popping on social media on on Instagram. Where I bring all my indie artists in the building. Um, it doesn't matter if you're an artist. You could be a, a, a realtor. You could be a doctor. You could be a you know anything, man. As long as you know you want to come on the show and promote your stuff and do what you do, um, you are more than welcome. So this Thursday, my man, comedian Larry Dog from Miami, will be in the building. Um, he's celebrating his birthday. And 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 he he's he's gonna be in the building um, this Thursday for Indie Thursday. So shout to Miami Dog, my man Larry Dog, gonna be in the building. Don't miss out for Indie Thursdays. All right. Oh, that's my Metaverse party on Friday nights, man. Don't, <laughs> yo, the Metaverse. You need to be up in there. All right. <laughs> uh, Dr. Jenny will be in the building um, this Thursday for Indie Thursdays. So yeah, you know what it is, man. Dr. Jenny <laughs> will be in the building. Uh, let me see. Troy will need to. Troy is telling me that you need to update your Instagram. Quickly go to your app uh, store and just update the Instagram. Yeah, we all need to do that sometimes. Instagram be bugging, but yes, that's what it is. Troy is in the building. Let him upgrade his Instagram right quick, and he'll be right in. All right. In the meantime, like I said, Dr. Jenny will be here this Thursday for Indie Thursdays with Larry Dog. You don't want to miss out. It's gonna be crazy. All right. Um. Also. Also. This Monday, we are doing the Valentine uh, 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 mixtape. Yes, we are doing the Valentine's mixtape. Now, anybody that's an artist that got that sexy music, that love music, that, that you know what I mean? Yeah, that Valentine vibe music. I'm going to need you to pull up on me, man. Hit my DM. We'll send you the instructions how to be part of this mixtape. Um, it's going to be at 10 o'clock um, Monday. Valentine's IG mixtape. It's going to be crazy man it's gonna be crazy troy let me know when you when you update it and we're gonna bring you in man we're gonna bring you in we're waiting for you all right word up so um big shout to everybody i was at new music monday last night you know what it is new music monday well man we broke some good records last night man that was crazy man that 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 uh um oh man Yo, that what is it? Uh, what was that record, man? And that record was crazy. Had that mark. Yo, I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you, 
that was a vibe last night. You know what I mean? Um, I'm going to tell you right now the record, man. The record was crazy. It was called Love That Feeling by Him Boogie. That was dope. We thought that was dope. Anna bought a badge. Anna, I appreciate you. Anybody, you want to buy a badge, I would appreciate that. That's Yo, I, I love that. But you know me. I want you to share the live. I need you to share the live. We need that good energy. Thank you for the flowers, Anna. Um, appreciate that big time. Uh, Buddha Baby Who was popping. Yeah, Buddha. Yeah, that, that bounce last night was crazy, man. Shout out to everybody who was at New Music Monday last night. We broke some good records. You know what I mean? That Wait Up by Sir Will was crazy. Of course, Young Wildin' with that good energy. Hey, hey. That good energy is taking off man I, I just want to appreciate and say thank you to everybody that's really been blasting um young while in good energy putting their mix to it their remix to it playing in the clubs playing in the radio stations we really really appreciate that um big shout to excitement radio um you know had the interview with them last night it was crazy so big shout to my family over there at excitement radio dj ben hop shot will yeah it was a movie man we really 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 appreciate that all right, let me see if uh, Troy got his stuff uh, updated. DJ Extents was popping. Yeah. You, 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 Celebrity Tuesdays once again next. Oh, there we go. There we go. You what doing, up, King? What's happening, gangster? How you doing, fam? I'm doing great, man. How you feel? I'm blessed. Happy New Year. You know what it is. I'm oh, here yeah, relevant. I'm relevant rocking the clubs, you know what I mean? I'm staying active, you know what I mean? <laughs> Just like I you. I ain't even worried about that part. I know you're going to do that. <laughs> How you been, so, though? I've been real good, man. I've been real good. Same old grind, man. Let it there. That is just a good place to be. Woo. Definitely, man. Uh, everybody, if you just chimed in, man, this is my guy, Pastor Troy. Y'all been waiting up, for him? We are here. He is here. Pastor <laughs> Troy. You know what I mean? What's that? DSGB and the family. You see them <laughs> stars? You see them five stars going across up there? What's up, all my soldiers out there? Yeah, yeah, you already know. Uh, Troy, man, you know, you, you, you said, you you know, you legendary status, that you are, my brother, you know what I mean? Yeah. Representing that Georgia big time, yeah. Um, yeah. representing hip-hop big time. For sure. We are oh. here in our 50th anniversary of hip-hop, my man, yeah. and you are part of that. How you feeling, man? Man, it's really dope, man, because I'm 45 years old. Damn. You feel me, man? So I really watched this thing go from... Here the there, you know what I mean, man. It's mm -hmm. really dope. It's really dope. It's really dope. I fell in love with that shit as a kid, for real, for real, man. The Rock Hems, the uh, LL Cool J. I saw you with a that. picture with you and Big Daddy yeah. Kane. Yeah, man, that's my dog, man. I rock with Kane, man. He fuck with me, man. It's so dope, man. Come on now, from watching yeah. them boys with them big rope chains to actually saying, I know Kane, I know Flavor Flav, I know Chuck D. Yeah, amazing. That's what's up. So as you're inspired by all of these names that you, you, you just tossed, yeah. you know, th there's an era that comes out. You know what I mean? There's, there's a city, you know what I mean? There's a state that's showing out right now, and you in the middle of that gumbo, you know what I mean? Yeah. And out comes Pastor Troy. Yeah. Like, talk, talk to us about how you came into the game and how you was um, founded by hip-hop. Yeah. Who helped you get into the game? Man, you know what, man? Man, my drunk was really gorilla, man. We did it really gorilla. Like, I produced my first album, me and my partner. Like, I did six tracks by myself, and I mm -hmm. co-produced the other ones. He played the keys, and I played the drum. Mm -hmm. And we pressed up the CD off the rip. We all of, we just pressed up the album and started selling the shit. Out the trunk? And, yeah, out the trunk, man. We really did that shit. You know, everybody started talking about it and stuff like that. But I'm talking about, man, this is 1998. When yeah. I was doing this, you know what I mean, man? And we saw a man hitting the college campuses and just got the whole city behind us selling CDs. I mean, we probably sold a thousand CDs that first weekend that we got them back. So, right. shit, we knew what time it was then. So, then after selling out like we did, we finally uh, hooked up with a record store in the city, man, and kind of they set up like a little distribution channel for us. Mm. So, they started selling uh, boxes of hundreds. For them bitches for eight dollars a CD, man. So we get eight hundred dollars a box now, and it's right. spread further than the city. So man, mm. and it, it just turned into a real gangster thing, man. Like we were doing good independently, man, but we had we had reached our limit, man. We had stretched our arms as far as we could on the independent level, man. That's the only reason I really signed. 
Um, I know, I know Pastor Troy is that guy, but at the same time in hip hop, you did have some competition. Uh, what you said, 1998? 98. Yeah, you did have some competition coming out, man. Like, who was, uh, who else was, do you remember that you was coming up with at that time from Georgia? Um, uh, from Georgia, nobody really. Actually, let's say hip hop. Let's just say hip hop in generally. Uh-huh, uh-huh. 98, man. I know Noriega says he dropped in 98. Um, mm -hmm. Of course, No Limit was just, that was the biggest thing, what No Limit was doing. But mm -hmm. then it just started fading off when the produ when Beats by the Pound wasn't there no more. You know what I mean, man? Mm -hmm. It really, like, we caught them, we caught them limp. You know what I mean, man? And we started right. coming with that gangster shit out of Georgia, man. And it worked. You know, Atlanta was ready to get behind something from, well, the whole state of Georgia was just ready to get behind something from Georgia. Right. And it was just perfect timing with that shit, man. We opened up that gangster shit. Well, nobody busting no guns and no songs and shit like that. Right, How right, we right. Came with that shit. Right. Yeah. And, 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 and you got a little help from Universal. Oh, yeah, man. Oh, yeah. It was cool, man. I learned a lot. It, it, it helped me exist to this day. Right. Because they put millions into my name and my face. And right. all I had to do was keep it up. And you did that. Damn you right. You did that. Damn you right. You did that. You know what I mean? What was what was some of the, you know, we got to give game some of, to some of these young cats that don't know what OGs like you went through. You know what yeah. I mean? Because uh, yeah. a lot of these young cats are independent and they're getting a lot of money and, and, and you know, it's great. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. But um, at the same time, there are some cats that don't have that money and they're going to need that backing and they may have to, you know, Look for an, uh, 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 a label to back them up. You know yeah. what I mean? What are you know, the things that? What? Go ahead. I, just with that being said, man. You know, it's different strokes for different folks. You know what I mean, man. I suggest you look at your own situation and what's best for you at the time. Everybody ain't gonna make it independent. You know what I mean? Right. Right. Shit. A good opportunity, man. Come along with you, man. Get that break. Get that help. Go in that office and get all those phone numbers and get all those connects to all those different places, man. I can still go on the Breakfast Club now because of the relationships that I got while I was at Universal. Right. You know what I mean, right. man? So don't just goddamn be an artist on the label, man. Be cracking up your own thing for when that shit finally over with, man. You still can move around. Right, right. And, and you know, outcome, you know, uh, uh, um, uh, um, you know, vice versa. You know what I mean? Yeah. No yeah. games. You yeah, know what I mean, you know, these we records them, are, are timeless records that, you know, I'm pretty sure but not only just the world, but definitely, especially as their own, you know what I mean? Man, and what's, but what's so dope, what I did, bro, like, when they were trying to push me across the nation, mm -hmm. I was like, I ain't going looking for nobody. It's too many people that want to see me in these parts that are in the Southeast, you know right. what I mean? So right. I started turning down the damn... Nebraska's and LA's and all that shit, man. If that shit ain't three, four hours away, I wasn't fucking with it. And we just locked down the Southeast. So I can jump in my whip right now and go left, right, up or down from Tennessee to Alabama to South Carolina to North Carolina to Florida. Man, we gonna we do this shit. I've been doing this shit for 25 years. We got that shit under siege. Right. But we did, you know? So what, it's what, a different it's a different way to do it. You, you, you you was not um you was not a flying guy you didn't like to go across seas you know what i mean i fly i fly to the show you know i fly to them damn shows two and three hours away you know what i mean yeah, but yeah, yeah, just yeah. the overseas thing that just wasn't just wasn't what i wanted to do you know what i mean that just really wasn't my thing leave me Man. something to do on this side of the game they looking for me over there you don't think that you you might have missed a couple of bags if you didn't you, you know going overseas um, I'm not a uh, adventurous person like that. I'm real grounded. You know what I mean. I don't trust shit gotcha. like that, man. You know what I mean. I'm cool. Gotcha. Yeah. Know, once upon a time, my man Khaled had that that fear of traveling that yeah. far or getting on the plane. You know what I mean. Yeah. And I would tell him, I'd be like, Yo, dude. You know what I mean. I, like me as a DJ, I would go to France. I would go to uh, Germany and and China and yeah. all that yeah. and go perform. And uh -huh. the bag was 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 great, you know. Yeah. What I mean, from 2000 to 2010, ten years straight, I was doing that European and Asia stuff. And yeah. I would tell Khaled, I'm like, yo, you don't know how much bags you're missing over there, and you you see go right get here it. Now. Yeah, go get it. You know, and he finally me. got up and went to go get it now. Yeah, yeah.
Yeah, yeah, and they stopped, has it? Hey, man, you know, I'm going to fuck with it like uh, they, they want me to go on an NCO tour to all the uh, military bases over there, man. So mm. we're going to set it up. We're going to get it cracking. This is my 25th year, man. So, you know, I just didn't want to do everything at once so I still have something to look forward to on the other side of the shit. Right, right. Damn, um, right. Talk, talking about the song, We Ready, did you did you copyright that? Because, uh, you know, We Ready is very... Uh, they use it, it, it. Yeah, you know what I mean? They use it everywhere. They use it everywhere, <laughs> man. They use it everywhere. How it was, man, when we got into the trademark and all that stuff, man, it was almost like it was uh, every, everyday language. So it's almost hard to trademark uh everyday phrase like that, man. Right. But we still did good with all the DSGB stuff like that, man. With the Falcons even bringing me in as a brand ambassador and stuff like that, man, I ain't never let it get far away from me. But when I when I also you know knowing my hip hop and stuff, some people may not even know this artist, or they may know this artist. And I hear Archie with Re Ready. Yeah, was that a it? Back in yeah, man. But you know, I it was it was an issue because I'm still performing the record. I'm still doing the shit. You right. feel me? I'm like, God damn, man! Y'all niggas can't even come up with no shit, man. Rest in peace to Archie, man. I was glad we was able to, you know, right. get some understanding about that, you know what I mean, before his death and everything. But it's it's like that when you're a leader. Yeah. Big you facts. Know? Big facts. Yeah. Big facts. Yeah. Um, for, sure. for all the guys that, you know, the young guys may not know Pastor Troy or may know Pastor Troy, but don't know the meaning of DSGB. Let yeah. them know. So we the Down South Georgia boys, man. What My whole thing with that, man, it was like... Uh, Atlanta was cool, but I wanted to rep for the whole state. I was making the music out of Augusta, mm -hmm. but I was from Atlanta. So my homies and stuff that I hooked up with there, man, it was bigger than me just saying I was from Atlanta or just saying I was Augusta. We started saying the Down South Georgia boy, Down South Georgia girl, mm -hmm. turned into a phenomenon around here, man. I'm talking about girls with Down South Georgia girls tattooed on their legs and shit, right. niggas with DSGB across their chest. They really took pride in this thing like that, man. We caught right. the letters up, man. All the letter shit came after DSGB, then the PSCs, then the CTEs and DTPs, all that stuff. Everybody was trying to get some letters to go with their shit, the macro Right, 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 right. And big yeah. shout to the Georgia boys. But at the same time, you would get some Florida boys love too. You know that, right? You know, them down south Florida boys love me, man. Them <laughs> haters love me to death. <laughs> Damn, Damn right. Damn right, right man. Them Zoe, <laughs> them Zoe fuck with me good, man. My boy, man, Dr. Zoe really introduced me to the whole Haitian game and that whole Miami culture, man. So that was my dog, man. That was right in 98, 99, man. It was right. just a real beautiful time to be kicking it down in MIA, man. Real dope. Nah, definitely. Miami, Fort Lauderdale, West Palm, they definitely fuck with fuck you, Fuck with Troy. me tough, man. I'm talking about, brother, them niggas had me down there at Haitian flag dancing some more shit. <laughs> Damn right. <laughs> <For sure. laughs> Everybody, if you just chimed in, man, it's my man Pastor Troy in the building, like I promised you on Celebrity Tuesdays. Uh, yeah. Troy, um, you know, you know, the music business done switched up, you know what I mean? Um, yeah. You know, uh, uh, for, for everybody, for artists, for DJs, yeah. um, for award shows and so on, man. Yeah. Where you see uh, 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 the music business going, especially hip hop, man, because, you know, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I talk to a lot of celebrity artists and, and they have their take on, you know, you know how um, New York and Jersey got their drill music. Yeah. Uh, you know what I mean? And and Atlanta's still buzzing with all the great artists coming out of there and the trap music and so on. Yeah. What what's your opinion where the music is going and how it's sounding right now? Man, you know, the music the music's cool, you know what I mean? Sometimes repetitive, but it's cool. I get it. The thing is with Atlanta, man, we have really become number one in film. Mm-hmm. So right, the music, right. it's done became a whole nother position with the music now, man. They looking for us for soundtracks. They looking for us for all kinds of shit. There's so many more opportunities, you know what I mean, man, with what we got going on with the film game. So I've been jiggling my hand and all that as well, man. We got two independent films up, man, that's did very well, you know what I mean? Just right. being some independent shit. So that's why I'm invested, man, you know what I mean? I saw what I did with a little bit. Right. Went on and got me some real equipment and all the big boy shit. Shit, we ready to get in the game with it too, you know what I mean? Because we always going to need music to soundtrack the shit. It's always going to go hand in hand. So that's just Are a new game I'm playing. Are you pushing any new artists? 
Man, you know what? I more so like consulting more than I like goddamn the artist shit. I've been there before. And I ain't like how it's a lot I of felt, work. You know what I mean? You know what I mean, man? It's a lot of understanding that go with that. You know what I mean, man? So I'd rather teach you how to do your thing more so than be up under me. Right. Right. Shout <laughs> out to everybody that's at the I know you know understand that shit. Elvis. No, definitely, man. Because at this time and age of my what I'm doing, you know, it, it's great that my ear stays tuned to the streets and I hear hit records, and it's a shame how some artists don't know where to go. So, yeah. you know, sometimes they need that OG guy. They're consulting, man. You know what I mean? That's it. That's what's up, man. I remember seeing little baby flying through the airport early in the game, telling them, put his chains up. You know what I mean? We right. cut through the airport, man. He headed to Baltimore. He by himself. Hey, man. Ain't never ever took your chain, man. man. You know what I mean? Man. If he see me at Magic City to this day, he gonna stop what he doing and come pull me. You know what I mean? Yeah, and that's yeah. the shit I love. You know what I mean, yeah. man? I had them boys like that, though, man. I had trouble. Same kind of guy. You know what I mean? Right, Toward right. Me. I had Mozzie. Young Mozzie got killed up here in the streets, man. I'm talking about these the boys who really would listen to the bankroll fresh. Right. It's just too many names. Hell, so the, little, uh, the little brother from Amigo, Take Off. Yeah. That's too many names that I just said. In my goddamn twenty-five year career, of little boys that's younger than me. Yeah, yeah. That, I hear you, man. I hear you. It's crazy. Uh, uh, how 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 strong and deep do you utilize the word pastor? Man, dog, I take it way more serious now than I ever have because you know it was already a salute to my father. Um, March to make a year since he passed, and I really look back at my label, man, and how I structured it was in his leadership and guidance of watching him put his church together with the love and compassion and everything that he put into that, man. That's what I put into what I do with my team. And they know right. that. And everybody see that. And that's how we rock. Right, man. Yo. Yeah. Where's that championship belt? <laughs> I'm glad you... I thought you never asked. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see it. Let me hit him with that Rick Flair. I thought you, I thought you never asked, baby. <laughs> I thought he never asked, baby. Listen, I'm sorry. You know, I thought, I thought, you know, it looked good on Rick Flair. I thought it looked good on Sting or Hulk Hogan, but damn it, man. <laughs> Did I take it down, bro? Did I take it down? <laughs> yes, man. Like. I can't, I can't, I can't see Pastor Troy without the belt, man. man. Like, yeah, and what's so crazy about it, man? It went from me carrying it, and motherfuckers saying, "What the fuck you carrying that belt for?" Till they see me if I ain't got it, like, "What the hell the belt at?" <laughs> <laughs> so that's dope. What, what, what does that belt mean to you, man? It's just so much motivation to my, to me, man. Just stepping on stage, man. I can look at that belt and power myself up. I go to so many places with it. It just feels so good to have something to lean on like that, man. You know what I mean? I wish everybody had something. Let me ask you something. For you, for, for people that don't know who Pastor Troy is, and there are people, believe it or not. Yeah. Do they think you, did, did they ever thought you was a wrestler? They always do, man. They always do. I'm on the plane, right? I done put the belt up. I'm on, uh, I'm sitting in my seat. The flight attendant come on like, uh, okay, we're ready here. Everybody put on your seatbelt. And we want to build a big, that, uh, thanks out to Pastor Troy, the heavyweight wrestler who's gonna be fighting this weekend. <laughs> Everybody on the plane started dabbing me up and shit. I'm like, man, what the fuck is y'all doing? <laughs> <laughs> like, who you with? WWE or WWE? For real, man, get the hell out. I ain't with no damn body, man. Get the hell out. <laughs> who is your favorite wrestler? Man, my favorite wrestler, uh, it'll probably be the Road Warriors. Oh, I was not expecting that. Yeah, man, the road boys, man. Hawking Animal, you know, being from Atlanta, they used to cut up and down. You know, all that wrestling was going on right here in right, the city. in the backyard, yes. Yeah, we were seeing that shit, man, so firsthand that it's a real dope thing, man. I didn't know I loved wrestling as much as I did. Do you still watch it till this day? Man, from the marketing perspective, motherfuckers they, out they keep NFL the arenas black. Every, every Monday night, they beat out everything. Whenever they are, they number one. SmackDown, yep. Yeah, man. Yep. So you I, gotta, I, you gotta respect shit like that. I, I tr truly admire that family and even how tri Triple H 
you know, some some in the hood would say finesse his way in the family, but yeah. you know, it's been love from the beginning. You know what I mean? And, and the way, yeah, the way he became part of that, and and just you know, the business standpoint of it, the marketing standpoint of it, um, you know, how they even involve wrestlers our color more rap. now. You know, yeah. I mean, rap. These guys not even uh, wrestling in and 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 wrestling shoes. They in their fucking Air Force One. Yeah, wrestling. tennis shoes. Man. They ripping it, man. They embracing that shit, man. You know what I mean? I I need me a good somebody to come out with an entry song on the pastor, man. I need me a good entry song. I'm a, I'm about to work that shit. Watch this. Bro. <laughs> That's the goal for this year. By the time we check back in, I'm gonna have somebody walking in on my shit. Yeah. Yeah, I feel you on that, man. That's Yo, big shout to the championship belt, man, because. That I think that that belt alone, that particular belt needs an interview by itself. <laughs> <laughs> For sure, man. Off the top rope. Off the top rope with Pastor Troy, baby. Word up, word up. Uh, talk to me about L Street TV. What's that about? Yeah, Lit Street. It's Lit Street. L I T Street. Excuse TV. me, excuse me, Lit Street. Ain't no pressure. Man, yeah, man. It's just an independent platform that I built, man. You can check it out on the Amazon TV, Roku, Fire Stick, Apple TV. We run independent videos, man. We run independent artists amongst the majors. You know what I mean? Ain't nothing like an independent brother getting this video in the rotation, man. It's getting followed by Lil Baby and Gunner and everybody else, man. So it's just real dope. We run it like the box right now. You know what time your video's playing? The whole nine, man. Just go to Lit Street TV for more uh, information. It's litstreet.tv. And if you download it on the app, man, you can get it on your phone. It's on the app store. Google Play, iPhone, whatever you do. It's dope, man. The music always vibing, man. I was watching it this morning, man. Chris Brown, a dance a motherfucker, boy. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Woo. Oh, yeah. That iffy um, video, man, that's a bad video, man. I had never seen it, but Definitely. Um, drop a couple of gems right quick, man. Like, people don't understand um, the power of Roku TV, Fire TV, and people like me doing this right here yeah. and, and using this platform to help, yeah. you know, Get the music out there, get the talent out there, and so on. Dog, man, the, the the playing field has balanced out so much. You know what I mean, man? MTV Jams, they show more commercials than they show videos, man. I really, I'm talking about, bro, I might see two or three videos to 20 commercials. You feel me, man? Mm. So just to have a platform where I'm running the music and I don't have to depend on that right there, man. It feels real good, man, and the people have been responding to it, especially the independent artists, man. It's been real dope to be able to give them their time for their video. So we're running on like a four-hour block. Dope. So if your video come on at noon, you know it's coming back on at four, you know it's coming back on at eight, and back on at midnight. They just sit up there promoting their times and stuff. Right. They, they Their fan base is seeing it. Their artists as well. they like, this motherfucker video ain't going to be on and mine ain't on. Right. They call it, they shit in the road mix, man. This just been like dominoes, man. man. It's been a beautiful thing. That's dope. That, that's dope, man. Y'all check that out, man. Lit TV. Yeah. yeah. Heard up, man. Uh, Chan 8028 said, Pass to who the boo boo kitty. What the, what the hell kind of question is that? If you know what, I, what they talking about? Hell All no. Right. All right, cool, cool. <laughs> <laughs> boo boo kitty. Maybe, uh, yeah, anyways. Um, once again, you, you, well, you, you spinning that now. Yeah, where you spinning at? My nigga, let me tell you something, man. Your boy is everywhere, man. You know, uh, as a as a DJ uh, around your age, you know what I mean? Yeah. That's still relevant, holding it down. I try not to stay in residency because, you, you know, be, we get bored of the move, same. Baby. Yeah, we get, not only that, but you get bored of the same women, the same drinks, same yeah. music sometimes. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. So I'd rather pop up here and there. And like, Freestyle. oh, Epps is going to be, yeah, Epps is going to be over here. He's good. popping up over here, you know what I mean? That's good. That's so, good. You know, um, um, you know, we, we, you we got our You posting on your page? You posting yeah, on your yeah, page yeah, a lot? Yeah, definitely, uh, definitely. Wherever I'm going, I, I definitely promote it. I'm going to DR. I'm mm -hmm. coming to Denver, Colorado. I'm coming to Detroit uh, in a little bit. I'm getting ready to come to um, uh, Indianapolis uh -huh. very soon. Um, I'll be good. coming to Atlanta, the KOD Atlanta sometime. Good, good. So when I'm good. going, hey, I'll pull up on you. You know, me and Trick doing uh, March, I think it's March 25th uh, here in Atlanta, man, for the 25th anniversary at State Farm. I saw that. Me, yeah, me, him, and Juvie. And 8 Ball and MJG, that shit going to be stupid, man. That might be one you might want to slide on too, man. You State know what, Farm. man? You absolutely yeah. right. You absolutely that, right. I think I'm going to consider that, <laughs> and I'm just going to get that hotel and flight and come fuck with you. That's the one, baby. Can I be on stage with you? Man, I, you I already know. Wanna, you, I want to feel that energy. I want to feel that energy. 
Hey, Pause. you come up, I'm putting you up, man. You come up, I'm putting you up. Just get here. You know what? I'm going to consider that. I'm going I'm to get with you, and we're going to make that happen. Well, uh, let everybody know about the concert again. Hey, yo, man. man. Yeah, yo, the concert, it's uh, the 25th anniversary, man. Me, Trick, and Juvie. All us boys dropped our first album 25 years ago, man. Dope. So it's going to be a stupid-ass concert in Atlanta, man. March 25th, Friday night. Man, if you're around Dope. this bitch. I think that I think that's a fucking plan for sure, man. Um, <laughs> Troy, before we get up out of here, um, let quick um, uh, let's talk about something more current event before you get up out of here. Yeah. Um, you have brothers? Yeah, 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 man. I got five siblings, man. It's a big brother, then me, and then uh, a sister two years younger than me, mm -hmm. and then uh, my little brother's ten years younger than me. He's a music uh, he's a music director and shit like that, man. Little bro be with Maxwell and shit. Dope. Bad boy, man. Dope. And then I got a baby sister doing her thing. All right, cool. So you do got brothers. Big shout to your sisters. Yeah. So what is your thought about what we've been hearing? And shout out to everybody that, 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 you know, did great at the Grammys. But we was unfortunate to hear a news about um, Offset and Quavo having a fight in the yeah. backstage. What, what, yeah. what, what What's your thought on a on on brother stuff like that? Like yeah. you know what I mean? And I hope those guys rec you know get to yeah. fix the situation. Yeah, man. You know what? Um, I've been blessed to really uh, use King Judgment in what I do and how I do it. You know what I mean, man? Growing up with my father and parents, mm -hmm. we learned how to be a family. And we learned what family business was and how to address it. You know what I mean? So, so whatever the situation was, it would have it stayed behind you the doors the of the door. house. You yeah. feel it? It would stayed in the house. You know what I mean? It stayed in the house. You know, they're still different, man. They're still grieving, both mm -hmm. of them. Mm -hmm. And people really don't know how to respond to what they really feel you know what i mean man so hell it'll make you want to fight it'll make you want to do anything man but it ain't gonna change the situation right you feel me man like so I, I i can hear take off yelling from the top like guys yeah. no you know what yeah I mean? yeah yeah man you know what i mean that's just that grieving that's just that hurt that's just that process man you know death break up death break up families all the time you know what I mean, man? Because everybody just so lost and don't know how to comfort it or how to, you know what I mean, to deal with it. Right. You know what I mean? So instead of doing what you know to do, they do what they think to do. And that ain't necessarily it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. right. It was right. crazy, man, just to having to keep off my family, my own family, not keep our family together, but make us remember what we are and who we are and how we built and what we do. You know what I mean, man? Without the patriarch there. Right. So right. hopefully them boys get some understanding in the future, man, and it get greater later. You feel me? Yeah, definitely. Thank you um, for your thoughts on that. Sure. And uh, the gems that you dropped today, man. Troy, thank you for passing through, man. I hey. know you got some things to do. Oh, um, love. You know, um, you, you always show me love from, from, from day one, man, and I appreciate you for being a friend, my bro. Man. Yeah, forever life, baby. You already know. Let's go. We got, let's go, LeJohn, boy. Let's go. <laughs> I'm going to get back with you and, and keep you posted um, when I'm going to come up there for that, for that concert. Yeah, man. I'll get you out of the way, man. I'll get yeah, you the I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward everybody, to it. Everybody, oh, any new music coming out? Any, anything I'm going to bang you. you I'm going right to bang you out. I got you. I'm going to send it to you. I got you. All right, bet, bet. Everybody, you know, hit my man you. at Pastor Troy DSGB. Follow him, you know what I mean? You y'all want to feature? Y'all want to hit him up, man? Hit him up, whatever, man. Pastor Troy, thank you for coming through, my brother. Yeah, yeah. Have a good yeah. night. Ah, uh, you too, brother. God bless. You already know. God bless. There you have it, everybody, man. Pastor Troy passing through Celebrity Tuesdays today, man. Um, great situation, great guy, great artist. Um, and I hope you go, you got some gems today. You know about you know the music industry. Um, about brother love. You know what I mean about you know, you know, everything that he, he dropped today, man. So shout out to everybody that was in the building. Um, I appreciate you chiming in today. Um, so remember, next Tuesday is Valentine's Day. So I'm going to be with wifey. I'm not going to be around. Not going to be here. But the next
Tuesday after that, my man Round Browse, uh, sorry that I cut his head off, uh, pause. But yeah, Round Browse is going to be in the building, live and direct. Yep, February 21st, so Celebrity Tuesdays when I come back. So um, any producers that know about Round Browse, any artists that know about Round Browse, we got some new situations popping off, so I suggest you pull up on us so, you know, we could talk about everything. All right, man? DJ Epson, the building live and direct for you and yours. Holding it down um, every Monday to Friday, weeknights. It's your boy, DJ Epson Friends, best show on social media. All right, man? Um, I told you, Indiana, I'm coming May 13th, Island Midfest. I'm going to be in the building holding it down, um, representing them Zoes. Um, it's going to be crazy. So Indianapolis, I, I need y'all to get ready to turn up because your boy DJ Epps is about to come shut it down Saturday, May 13th, Island Midfest. Uh, a lot of celebrity artists from the reggae culture, the Haitian culture, the Soka Massive is going to be in the building, man. Even Afrobeat artists. So get ready. All right? I'm definitely going to bring that good energy with my man Young Wallen. So please, 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 please pull up on us. It's going to be crazy. All right, man. Um, yo. Anybody want to come up here, man, and give me your thoughts on the Grammys? Let me know, man. Pull up on me, man. Pull up on me. Whoever's in the building, pull up on me. Let's talk right quick, all right? Who's that? Mansfield Skill Drill uh, and Drills? Let me see if they're still in the building. Um, I'm also let you know about where I'm going to be at this Saturday, too, man. Uh, SE Promotion was popping with you. I see you out there. Sebo Trump was good, all right? Top Trait was good. I see you. Jazzy Libra bought a badge. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Um, anybody buying a badge, badge gang out there, I really, 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 really appreciate that. All right. Um, what else? Oh, Dominican Republic. I'm coming. DR, Dominican Republic. I'm coming. February 17th to the 20th. It's going to be a monstrous movie in DR. You know what I mean? A lot of those can't really celebrate um, the carnival this year. You know what I mean? So nobody ain't really going to Haiti, but I'll be next door in DR. So I need y'all to pull up on me, and we're going to have some fun. Trust me. All right, DR, February 17th to 20th, DJ Epps live and direct in Dominican Republic. Don't miss out. All right? Um, um, it's going down. Yeah. Yeah. I'm coming to the El Show de la Noche this Saturday. Get ready, man. All my Latinos. I'm about to let you know what's popping with me. The new single I got with my man Deshaun, El Anima. It's going to be crazy. El Show de la Noche this Saturday. Y'all get ready, man. It's going to be a problem. Yes, sir. Um, What else? Yeah, yeah. Pull up on my live, man. Y'all want to talk about the Grammys. I want to know everybody's opinion, man. Who they like, what they was expecting, what they was not expecting. Um, There was a lot of, you know, talks about um, what happened backstage. You know what I mean? VIP tickets was popping. I see you. Yeah. And, uh, I'm going to spin live for you guys and do a set for you. So you know how I do my mega mix on Wednesdays and Fridays. So tomorrow, pull up on me and, and watch a real DJ get down. Um, if you want to book your boy, hit my DM up. You know what it is. You know, the DM is always lit. You know what I mean? Um, so, yeah, hit me up and we'll let you know what's popping. Uh, Rock, Rock the Bells tour. Everybody's talking about the Rock the Bells cruise um, going down November 17th to the 20th. Now, understand, man, DJ Epps is going to be live on the one and twos, holding down. Yeah, I'm going to be shutting it down on the Rock the Bell cruise from Miami to Bahamas. Now, everybody that's going to be on the cruise, <laughs> Rick Ross, Lil John, I mean, Big Boy, uh, Ghostface Killer, Big Daddy Kane, Too Short, Bum B, yeah, EPMD, DJ Quick. Oh, man. It's going to be a movie. MC Light, DJ Jazzy, Jeff Kick, Capri going to be with me. Mr. C going to be with me. My guy Torre going to be with me. Hey, everybody's been asking about how can they get tickets? How can they get their cabins? Let me tell you something. In November uh, 2022, when we announced the Rock the Bell Cruise, that same week, the cabins were absolutely sold out. <laughs> Cabins were sold out, you know what I mean? But uh, we left uh, a, 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 a waiting list open for everybody. Yeah, Miami to Bahamas is going to be crazy. Um, we, wait, we made a waiting list for everybody, man. So if you log on to rockthebellcruise.com and put your name on the waiting list, 
we suggest you do that, man, because you never know who's going to back out, who can't make the Rock the Bell cruise. Um, there may be some open slots, cabins, situations that, that will open up, and we will call you accordingly to how everybody signed up. Because I'm going to tell you right now, I was told that that waiting list is about 400 deep already. Yeah, Rock the Bell cruise. November 17th to the 20th is going to be crazy. DJ F performing live. Shout out my man Rick Ross going to come with me. Trina's coming with me. Trick is coming with me. No, I'm bringing Miami. Every time I go places like Rock the Bell style, I bring Miami sometimes with me. And yeah, 305 will be in the building with me. All right. Shout out to everybody that's following me right now. I appreciate the follow. James Taylor, I see you, homie. Um, who else? Who else, man? Uniquely coordinated. You know what it is. It's going to be crazy. Uh, speaking about uniquely coordinated, um, they come to Miami. They come in to celebrate my birthday bash with me. Um, also celebrating their birthday is Ace Moolah, one of the hottest producers from New Jersey that does drill music, man. Uh, yes, yes. Ace Moolah celebrating his birthday. DJ Alamo from Philly celebrating his birthday. It's all happening Wednesday, April 26th at the Joint of Miami in Wynwood. Now, understand this. Vendors, you are wanted. You want to come pop up and, 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 and sell your, your, your gear, your weed, whatever. You're more than welcome to be part of this event, vendors. Um, artists, we are looking for artists to come perform. You are more than welcome to come perform. We only got a couple of slots le open left. So hit my DM or hit the email right there, and you could be a part of it. So shout out to my man, Alamo. Uh, shout out my girl, Burn, uniquely coordinated. The family, yo, it's going to be crazy. April 26th. Happened to be a Wednesday, so, you know, it's going to be, it's going to be, yeah, it's going to be a movie, all right? Um, don't forget this Monday. This Monday, we're doing the Valentine's IG mixtape. Now, understand, I'm taking submissions. Um, hit my DM so we can show you the instructions and how you could be part of this mixtape. What we're looking for is, is love, sexy, you know what I mean? Valentine's vibe, you know what I mean? Slow jams. R&B, you know what I mean? We want this mixtape to be sexy, hot, you know what I mean? Even if your, your trap music happens to be sexy, it could be on the Valentine's mixtape because if I have to turn in, turn this into a fuck mixtape, it's going to happen. I promise you that it will fucking happen, all right? Yeah. <laughs> so artists, labels, man, submit your artist music to my DM, man, and uh, I'll send you an instruction. The Valentine mixtape, IG mixtape is happening this Monday at 10 o'clock. So, yeah, y'all need to be in the building and, and submit your music ASAP, all right? Uh, Indie Thursdays, Indie Thursdays, like I told you, man, my Indie Thursdays is popping. And uh, my guy, Larry Dog, who celebrated a birthday this week, is going to be in the building this Thursday um, for Indie Thursdays. Miami, comedian Larry Dog will be in the building. So pull up, pull up, pull up. Um, also, this Thursday will be Dr. Jenny going to be in the building. You know what I mean? Um, we're going to talk to her live about, you know, everything, anything that needs to be uh, talked about, whether it's mental health, whether it's, 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 you know, Dr. Jenny will be in the building. She throws a couple of, of, of concerts, you know what I mean? And, and um, she's going to be promoting it as well. All right. All right, man. What else? Am I missing anything else? Um, you know, I, I, I did tell you guys that New York City, I'll be in the building um, almost every month now. So this month, I'll be there at the end of the month. I want to say uh, Friday the 24th. Is it Friday the 24th? New York, I'm pulling up in Queens, New York. It's going to be crazy, man. Um, is it Friday the 24th? Yeah, Friday the 24th, I'm going to be at Melody NYC holding it down in Queens, New York. So pull up on me. Um, shout out to everybody in the metaverse. Um, I appreciate the love that I've been getting inside the metaverse. That's a whole new audience, a whole new community that I built um, to be part of the DJ Epps, uh, Team Epps, you know what I mean? Uh, big shout to my, my family at Nerd, Rockstar, Dada, you already know. Yeah, Blast, let these motherfuckers know. You already know. Shout out my man DJ Blast. Uh, started a new uh, contest for the DJ and pro versus producer battle. Um, so y'all go check his page and see what um, artist they pushing this week and uh what songs they're gonna remix this week elville the producer in the building he was um on my uh indie thursdays last thursday great great guy great guy great situation um all right man let me get up out of here man i'm gonna turn in early um got more work to do blast asked me the other day when do i sleep 
Um, let me try to go to sleep a little early today <laughs> and get some 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 shut eye. Because uh, um, when you rock with a DJ like me, just know that I do my own promotions, I do my own bookings, I do my own, and it's very hard. And you balancing that with you know a beautiful family, um, you know what I mean. You balancing that with with that lifestyle, and not too many DJs um shoot, not too many artists could do that either. You know what I mean? Um, but I guess down like that. So DJ Drop, my guy in the building, you already know. I see you drop. Yeah. All right, man. It's time for me to get up out of here. Let me uh leave you with that good energy. Um, everybody's talking about man. Yes. Wallen, young Wallen, great young guy, man, and the music has been taking off um, tremendously, man. And we appreciate all the DJs, everybody that's playing the good energy record. We appreciate you guys. All right, um, Rich, what's popping? Doobie Club in the building. You know what it is, Rich. What's good, homie? Yeah. I see you, Rich. Yeah, Doobie Club, Denver, Colorado. Colorado coming next month and April. Wow. I heard they booking my birthday bash for 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 420 weekend in Denver. Rich, you hear this? You gotta get on that plane with me. <laughs> yeah, I just got the call. They said, yo, what do you think about doing your birthday bash for 420 weekend <laughs> in Denver, Colorado? I said, let's go, man. Blend Master, what's popping? Salute. Yeah, man. So I said, let's go. Um, I know K-Tone's doing his birthday bash next month. I told him I'll pull up. You know what I mean? So they're getting that right, too. So Denver, Colorado, I'll be there. It's going to be crazy. Get ready. All right, man. Let me get up out of here, man. DJFs. Hey, you know what it is. I love you guys. Hey, uh, on my platform, Twitch, Facebook Live, YouTube Live, Twitter. I appreciate the love, man. Um, once again, DJ Epson Friend Weeknights, 10 p.m. Eastern. You know what we do out here, all right? Celebrity Tuesdays, all right? When I'm coming back in two weeks, Ron Browse will be in the building with me live in Tyrek, all right? Don't forget it. Don't forget it. Have a good night. Young Wallen, good energy. DJ Epson, got that. Hey, yo, Epps, let these motherfuckers know. DJ Epps.